Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here and welcome to Sunday's edition of the DCEU Daily. Now I'm going to show you a video that's actually about a month old. It's Ezra Miller talking about The Flash. Now I didn't actually know about this video, the craziness of the internet, right? But he says some amazing things on here. So should we give it a watch? He's talking about The Flash. This video will really upset people, bloggers and scoopers predicting that the flash will never happen with Ezra Miller. Take a listen to what he's got to say, then we'll discuss. And um, apart from Cletus, we also have the other character, the reality flash. Yes. Anything about the flash one? Yes. 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 Yes.
I think it would have been a very dangerous step to take at that moment, seeing how Batman v Superman, the man of still being so dark, really triggered um, the diehard DC comic readers as well. So I love what Ezra said. I believe every word of what he said. I believe they want to make the best, the most awesome Flash movie. And I think that's exactly what I want to see and exactly what you want to see. You don't want to see some half-baked kind of Justice League movie. That's what we've got in the Justice League. We got a rush movie just to put out some content. And it ended in tears, didn't it? As I say, I always say this, I could still go back and watch the Flash movie. I think Aquaman was amazing in the in the Justice League movie. I thought the Flash was amazing. I think they were two of the best things about the movie. I, I loved Cyborg in the movie. I loved the Flash and the Superman race on, on the post credit scenes. There were some good things in the Flash, you know, in the Justice League movie. But it was a film hastily put together and we saw what a car crash it was and how little money it made and how much it hurt the diehard DCEU fans as well because of what and what and how Zack Snyder was treated. And hopefully one day we can see the Snyder Cut. And I know we're all still fighting for the Snyder Snyder, the Snyder Cuts. He's not Spider-Man, he's Snyder-Man, isn't he? Snyder-Man, actually, that's a pretty good name for Zack, isn't it? Anyway... Moving uh, from that, basically, yeah, we're all still fighting for the Snyder Cup. We all still want the Snyder Cup. But we've also, I think, if we're if we're DC fans as well, also very excited for the future of DC Universe, the DCEU. Um, we're getting, you know, we've already had two awesome series from the DC Universe streaming service. Um, two brilliant DC shows that I, I think most of us enjoyed if we're being honest, and definitely better than what we've had from Arrowverse. Um, as I say about Arrowverse, and it's a shame, we had two great seasons of Arrow, two great seasons of The Flash, and then the producers and writers basically took it, um, you know, took it laying down, let's say, from the CW network, and it's all about their audience, and it's no men allowed, it's all about the girls, and it's boring now, isn't it? Boring, not interested. I'm not interested in all that. I'm interested in awesome superhero stuff. And I'm interested in diversity and gender equality. Of course I am. But when that voice becomes bigger than the actual content, I am not interested. So, so excited about this video. So what do you think, everyone? Uh, what do you think of Ezra Miller's interview and what he has to say about this? I think it's awesome. I love what he says about Marvel, how it's only one universe. But uh, the DC universe is many universes. It's a multi-universe, as he says it. I love that little dig at Marvel. It's really quite funny. Look, Walter Hamada, if he's the clever man I know he is, he's going to do something very special with this franchise. It's going to be the opposite of the MCU, as I say, a lot of standalone movies, but also a lot of films that bring the whole universe together. Shazam brings the whole of the DCEU together because you see the newspaper clippings of Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. And I hear there's even some Suicide Squad Easter eggs in that film as well. So very, very, very excited for Shazam. That's the new visit of the DCEU. Please, any questions, anything you want to know, anything you want to get off your chest about the DCEU, of course, Twitter is always full of lots of negative stuff, unfortunately. I've learned to rise above it. And if you want to get through your day, you should too. I will speak to you all again tomorrow on another DCEU Daily.